a really cool tool by Cat Image, which works very similar to the profile of walls, etc., except we can change the elevation. It's, it, it's a you can change the elevation of each node as well. So, now I haven't done this for a little while, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's good and bad. It's good for you. Sometimes it makes me look bad. <laughs> okay, so first thing I need to do is draw my profile, right? So I'm going to make like, um, I don't know, maybe like a, a ramp that goes over a street or something like that. So we just do it with a fill. And so this is um, going to be the shape. So did you go into element attributes and profile manager again? No, no, this is just, just a straight fill. Yeah, so what's it? Two, four, six, eight metres? Okay, that's kind of cool. Actually, I might just lift this up a little bit. And then I'm going to minus off shape. Actually, I'm going to. I don't know if I've shown you this, actually. Somewhere in here. I want to. Um, I'm going to chop this piece out of this piece, right? But I'm being a bit lazy here. And I want this to align with this, right? There's lots of ways I could do it. But there is this really cool thing in here called align. And so I can go align center vertically. And so now this is centered with this. Which is, in this case, it's very convenient. Because then I'm just going to go, um, right, click on the edge. I want to go minus this shape. Cool. That's all I want. Delete that. All right. So there's my profile. And I keep it relatively simple at this stage. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to add a point here and bring it down so it's kind of structurally sound. And oh, maybe I'll actually also I'll just flatten the bottom of this off. Like that. All right. Okay, so that's where my columns would attach. So I can select this. Now, I believe that this line here is actually quite important because that's where the... If I go and centre that, I should find that it. I also, um, I'm actually going to add an extra point here because I think I can select, you know, like, in a, like a chair or whatever, it's got like little hot spots that, you know, you can select so that when you place it, that's the point that it places it. Like the um, column tool has one as well. Probably easier if I just show you. See this here has got like little points that are all, see if I click a, put a column now, it's going to place a column around my cursor. But if I was trying to place a column in the corner of the room, I'd want to go and click like that. So I could click in the corner of the room and place the column outside of it. And you'll see the same thing actually with objects as well. So if you go to the object, so here's the chair, see it's got these little X's. Okay, so if I'm trying to place that chair in the, in the corner of the room, I can select that hot spot, so I click in the corner, it will place the chair in the corner. Well, I'll be placing that point. So that's why I'm adding that, because I'm hoping that when I go into here and go, um, presets create a profile preset, I can see all these points. Although, yeah, see, it's gone and I actually select it. Oh, there you go. See, so because I had a point down there, Actually, no, it hasn't. Actually, it's ignored me completely. It's just created its own points. That's all right. So that means if I set the height of this, I'd be setting the base height of my structure. And it's going to appear up the top there. That's all right. I can live with that. Um, and I'm going to call this a general shape. It's got some appearance things. Blah, 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 what it looks like if you do a section through it. The texture that gets applied to it. So I want, um, say, concrete. What else we got? Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the, the section as I cut through it. That's interesting. Cut structural strength. Blah, 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 blah. So if we go custom settings, I should be able to say, oh, that's the line. No, I'm not interested in that. Custom settings. I want lightweight concrete. There we go. 
Excellent. Loving it. Okay. Um, new profile one. So now, what I do is I draw where I want my profile to go, right? Let's say it's going to go along. It's going to go at a 45 degree angle. It's going to go, I don't know, maybe across a road or something. And then another 45, and then down. All right. So I select that line, and I can go add image extrusions, extrude along a user-defined path. Yes, please. Turn, turn, turn. Here's my CAD image general extrusions. And I should be able to choose somewhere. That's my path. Where is my one? Oh, maybe it's this one. Custom. No. Told you I was going to struggle my way through this. Oh, is that a steel one? Shouldn't be. No. Should be that one. Ah, oh, sorry. Custom. There we go. New profile. I had it right the first time. Okay, because it's a general extrusion. All right. And again, you'll see it's actually got all the same settings, but I've already set it, so which is really convenient because I don't have to change the settings every time I put it down. And I go, OK. And we should see some magic happen. No. Hello. OK. I've got a funny feeling it's because I used a polyline. Let's just change that to lines. Add image. Extrusions. Extrude along the path. Shape. Yep. Okay. No. Oh, okay. For some reason, it. I could actually put my heights in here, but I'm well, least doing actually. Five thousand. It's meant to just follow my line, but anyway. Oops. <laughs> I should have actually said finish. Anyway. Ah, oh, you bugger. Anyway. And there is my extrusion. Now, what's cool though is I can actually go into here again and say extru oh, extrusions Z edit mode. Hmm, I've got some error in it though, which kind of sucks. And it should give me little pink dots everywhere. There we go. I can actually lift this up and manipulate it. So you can do it in 3D. It's actually a bit confusing when there's nothing. I'm just going to put a slab down just so you can kind of see where the ground level is. There we go. And so you can make big crazy parts. Yeah. There's a few other tools in there you can use for um, playing around with it. So you can say, um, I want to have a planar arc. I don't know why it's doing that. I might have to do it from here. around with it lots. 
Yeah. I think it'd be an ear at the top. Now I've got like some big funky curvy thing going on. And of course I could now go through and drop some columns in there to hold it up. If I knew what the heights were, it would have been handy. I might have to make these huge. Oh, I could make it a module if I wanted to. My columns aren't very big, are they? It's all right, I can grab the top of it. Sweet. It's not exactly structurally sound, but you get the general idea. Yeah, a wooden post holding up a concrete is yeah, probably not a best of ideas. Yeah, and so if you can select it, you go into CAD image, extrusion, Z edit mode. That's going to be an error again. Come on. There we go. Sink it in. There's actually an objective thing as well, which can make lots of stuff, but I haven't played with it for a long time, so I'm not going to try. I think it only works in here. Okay, load objective library. Thank you. 